Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well and sticking to your New Year's resolutions. Or are you like me and you've already given up? Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be looking at a great free streaming TV app, which is available for your Amazon Fire Stick or your Android TV device. Now, the great thing about this app is, of course, you don't need any location spoofing software and it works with your remote control. And it does come with an EPG, your electronic program guide. And trust me guys, there's enough content here to keep you busy. So in this video, I'm going to show you the features of this app and all the settings you get. And of course, all the channels you get with it. And then show you where and how you can install this app. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now as soon as you open up the app, you're straight into the home screen, which you can see up on top is called Surf Channels. And that's exactly what you can do here. Now this first channel is something called XPD, and unfortunately it's a paid content channel. Now they do provide some trailers which are pretty fun to watch, if you're into police car chases. So officially the first free channel is Mashup Porn, which is basically a mashup of, you've guessed it, pawn shops and buying and selling. And this includes programs like Porn Stars, American Pickers and Antiques Roadshow, and more. Now this theme of channel titles continues with Mashup Cops, and basically throughout this Surf Channels page. So this is a great way to navigate through these channels with these categories. Now there is a cool little feature with this app, where if you hover over the channel category, you'll get a live preview of what's currently playing on that channel in the top right hand corner, and all this from the home page. Now going back to the channels, we've also got Mashup Home, Mashup Gearhead, Mashup Outdoors, Mashup Swamp, Mashup Cable Hits, and Mashup Lifestyle, and one of my favourites, Wild West. Me personally, I enjoyed watching some of the old westerns, with some of those great actors who are long gone. So guys, as you can see, there's plenty of categories here to keep you busy. We've got history, travel, comedy, game shows, discovery, animal, fight, sport, and if anyone's interested, there's politics, but these days they all sound the same. Now lastly, there's Hollywood and Wall Street. Now do remember, if you're not sure what's in a particular category, you can look in the top right hand corner for a description of it. And sometimes it'll even give you a listing of some of the programs. Now guys, if you are enjoying this video, please do give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As I do weekly videos on streaming, media, tech and unboxings. And just by liking and subscribing to the channel, you'll keep me motivated to keep going, producing the content I know you like to watch. Okay, back to the app. Now below channels live preview, we've got trending channels. And like the name suggests, this gives you a list of the channels currently trending. In other words, what channels people are mostly watching at this current time. So it's basically a list of the channels that we looked at above, but in order of the most popular in terms of viewing figures. Now below trending channels, we've got recommended for you. And these are basically a list of channels which the app thinks will be of interest to you. And honestly guys, most of them I'm interested in apart from the mashup of Jerry. I've never really been a fan of his shows. Now below the recommended category, we've got XPD latest incidents. Now, although this is a paid channel, you do get some free snippets, some of which are quite hilarious. And it's for that reason I'm recommending you view these. So just select the free preview and then it gives you a little bit of information about it. Press select again and it will start playing automatically. And you can fast forward and rewind or even pause while you're watching this content, all with your remote control. Now, another cool feature here is if you press up on the D-pad, you get access to a sub menu where you can click on more free content on this channel and then just click to play it. So no need to waste time going back to the main menu. Okay, so below XPD, we've got the original channels category. And as before, just click to play and the screen maximizes. Now back at the home screen, if we scroll across the top menu to on demand, you're gonna get a whole bunch of on demand movies that you can watch at your leisure. Now admittedly, they're not the latest and greatest and the classics movies category gives it away here. But for what you're paying, which is nothing, there's some great selections here. So basically select what you're interested in and I like the look of Jungle Book here. It gives you a little description and the length of the movie and then just click again to play. And of course you've got all the usual controls, pause, fast forward, fast rewind. And you've also got an option here to play the next movie. Now again, if you click up on your D-pad on your remote control, you're going to get more selections for more movies. And as you can see, it's a cool way to navigate through the movies without even stopping what you're watching. And it's just as quick to switch movies from here if you get bored of the one you're watching. So I've just selected a new one here and it came up pretty quick. Okay, so below classic movies in the demand section, we've got TV mini series. And believe me guys, this one is a treasure trove of interesting programs. As you can see, there's some pretty interesting titles straight away. From war to space to crime to history. 
and selecting one of these TV miniseries is going to take you to a sub-menu where you can select the episode you're interested in. And again, you get the usual details about the program. And of course, while you're viewing an episode, pressing up on the D-pad will bring up more episodes, making switching between episodes a more pleasing experience. Now, like I mentioned before, there's a load of interesting titles in these episodes, and they're going to keep you occupied and interested for a long time. And the great thing is, they're always there, like your mini library, so if there's a rainy day, you know where to go. Okay, so the next category below miniseries is sitcoms, and classic sitcoms to be precise. And again, as you can see, there's tons of content here guys. Some great golden oldies on offer here guys. And of course, as these are sitcoms, you're going to get a load of episodes under each of these titles. Now under the sitcoms category, we've got new additions category, and this is basically all the new content they've added recently. We've got Dragnet that's been added, and as you can see there's loads of episodes of that. And there's tons more content that's been added recently here. Now under the new additions category, we've got the detectives and dramas category. And it's more of the good stuff guys. Under each title, there's more episodes. Now under detectives and dramas, we've got the western TV shows category. So again guys, loads of episodes under each of these titles. And then below that we've got our western movies category. And who doesn't love a western on a rainy day? Below that category, we've got docs for days. And this is basically all your documentaries in one place. And I can definitely recommend most of these titles here. All educational as well as entertaining. Okay, below that category we've got the Fright Fest cult classic horror films. This has got to be one of my all time favourite categories. Absolutely love these thumbnails. They certainly don't make them like this anymore. Okay, now to some of the features you get with this app. You sort of get an EPG, electronic program guide. It's more of a static screenshot of what's currently on on each channel. It doesn't do anything more than that as it's a non-interactive guide and you can't really see what's on in the future. And it's available under Now Playing in the top menu. Now the other welcome feature of this app is the ability to search for programs. Just head on over to search in the toolbar and enter your search. So if you haven't guessed already, this app is called Anthem TV. Now getting this app couldn't be easier, just head on over to your respective app store and type in Anthem TV. Now I'm on the Amazon Fire Stick here, so I'm just typing it in at the search bar. It should pop up as one of the first search items, just select it and download it. Okay, to summarise, what I like about this app, it's user friendly and it's easy to use. It's got a search function so you can search for your programs. The channels are categorised into different genres. We get channel descriptions that help viewers to learn about the channel before watching it. You can easily resume unfinished shows or choose to start from the beginning. And channel genres include reality TV, news, favourites and action TV. And the great thing about this app is it's free and it's legal. And it offers some popular shows. It's easy to use and there's no adverts. There are a few negatives. The number of channels are limited. Sometimes shows are not in full HD. And that's it really guys. Overall it's a great app. The positives far outweigh the negatives for this free app. Now if you did find this video helpful, please do give us a like on it and please do consider subscribing as I do produce videos like this on a weekly basis. Anyway guys, I'll see you all in the next one.